They're telling me of a kidnapping. I'm seeing a kidnapping. Yeah, her brother was. Was he kidnapped by a gang? Yes. yes. Gigi, where are you from? Texas, Houston. Oh my God. Well, first of all, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you. Oh my God. There's a couple souls that are here. Um, oh, I don't even know how to make, I can't make heads or tails of this. All right. First of all, did you lose the boyfriend or the significant other? Yes. I didn't know if this is your fiance because he looks to me like he's a fiance, but boyfriend. He's a boyfriend. Yeah. We've been together for a long time. Okay. He's here. And I got to tell you something. He keeps saying to me, Matt, he goes, I have to let her know that I'm here. I have to let her know that I'm here. All I know, he shows me his death under investigation. So they were investigating how he had died. I'm listening for all the details. I got to call this out. There's a soul that's here that I'm, that's really bothering me right now. Okay. There's a soul that's here that was kidnapped as well. Who was kidnapped or taken that was connected to you? Her brother was. What? Oh, yeah. They're yeah. telling me, they're telling me of a kidnapping. I'm seeing a kidnapping. Yeah, her brother was. Was he kidnapped by a gang or taken by a gang? Yes. 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 He, and, and he died. Yes. yes. He's here. Right. He's telling me when I'm connecting. He goes, Matt, I was taken from my family. I was taken from my family. And he was, he shows me he was taken at gunpoint when I'm connecting with him. Is that true? Yes. He's here. He just said to me, Matt, I was taken from my family. I was forced to work. And then he was killed. Yes, yes. And he tried to escape, he tells me. That's that so crazy. And that's how he had died. Her mother also died. Yes. Your mother's here. My mom. Your mom. Mother, right? Yeah, okay, her mom. Yeah. Your mother's here. Can you tell her her mother's here? Because your mom is telling me I'm reconnected with my son. Finally, I I, I can know my son. I can know my son. I gotta tell you something. This was something that was the hardest thing that ever happened in your family. Your mom is telling me when I'm connecting. Nah, she goes, I, I she goes, I was forced to give up my child. She says, and you know, because your mom was religious. And she tells me that she would pray every single day, hoping that that boy would re-enter her life. And then unfortunately, I don't know how she found out, but she's telling me she found out that your brother had died. And you know what's so sad? He was killed with other children. I see that. Does she know about that? Ask her. Yes, she said it's possible. He says to me that what he wants you to know is that him and her mom are a guardian angel watching over you all the time. Um, and every day that goes by, he says, please know that my spirit and my soul is with you. Your boyfriend is also here. And he said to me, Matt, he goes, there's one thing I regret in life. He says, I should have been more responsible. I should have been more responsible because he's telling me that. And I got to be honest with you. I know how he had died. He shows me that that, that that day that he had died, he was under the influence. And he shows me being in a vehicle. He says, and Matt, he goes, he shows me him. He shows me him um, being under the influence. And I know how he had passed. He actually shows me that he fell asleep at the wheel. I saw his head go down. I saw the car swerve. And then next thing you know, he had died. Do you understand that? He says, now I have to apologize to her because he tells me that before he had died, the two of you were arguing with one another. He says, and Matt, she thinks that she was responsible for my passing and she wasn't. He says, you were arguing about the same thing. You were trying to get him to change. He says to me, I'm sorry for hurting you. He says, but Matt, he goes, I have to let her know the truth because I was not truthful here in this world. He tells me when he was alive, he used to run away from conflict. He tells me anytime there was a conflict, anytime something bad had happened, he says, instead of working things out with you, he goes, I would run. He goes, and I would go with my friends. He goes, and we would break up. He goes, we would take a break with one another. Do you understand that? Yes. <laughs> and that was because of the fact that he refused to change. He keeps telling me that. He goes, I didn't want to change. I didn't want to change. He says, but there's one thing you need to know. He tells me that he never stopped loving you. He says, and this is what we used, we used to do. He goes, we used to break up and then get back and break up and then get back. Do you understand that? Matt, he goes, I lied to her. He says, I promised her that I wasn't going to do this. He says, I promised her that I was going to take more responsibility. He says, and then I died. Even though the two of you had never gotten married here in this world, you were still his one and only. He wants you to know that. And it's so hard for you still to this day because every day you try to remind your children that he's still a part of their life. He says to me, Matt, he goes, I got to let her know one thing. She is an amazing mother. I watch what she does for her children. I watch what she does for our family.
he says, and I was so lucky to have her, you know, cause he shows me you taking pictures and showing your kids pictures of, of their dad and talking about how proud he would be of them. And you always still incorporate that him in their life. And he's thanking you for that. He says, there's not a day that goes by that my soul isn't with you in heaven. He says, and I want to let you know that I will always be by your side. So even when you don't sense and feel me, it doesn't mean that I'm not there. He says, but what you need to know is that's just validation for him coming through right now that he is that he is always in forever with you. And there's one thing that he's also showing me. He's talking about um, a necklace that you have a memory of him. The kids have um, necklaces with um, with his pictures on it. Oh my with God. Because he's telling me not. He goes, they all have remembrances of me. And he showed me the necklaces. Yeah, we all have his fingerprint also um, on our necklaces as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we all have this necklace right here. Oh my God, you're all here. Oh my God, I love this. So no, that's crazy. So no, it's his way of acknowledging that when you have that necklace on, that's his way of, of letting you know that he's with all of you all at the same time. More importantly, he says to me, Matt, he goes, I love my family so much. He says, but I don't want them, he says, to live their life in pain anymore. I want them to know that what they go through in life I see it all. And I am still so connected to you, he tells me. But I got to tell you one last thing. He says to me when I'm connected, he goes, Matt, he goes, please let her know. He says that one day she will see me again. That this is not a permanent goodbye. He says, the one thing that I regret most is not making it official with you here in this world. He says, because in heaven, you are my wife. That's what he tells me. So even though you never got to get, get married, he says to me, thank you, he says, for the beautiful family that you raised with me. He says, thank you for standing by my side. He says, and I will always be with you. Oh, and there's one other thing I almost forgot. He's talking about the tattoo. <laughs> he about the tattoo he's telling me. And everyone was getting matching tattoos he's bringing up. Yes, we plan yes. to. <laughs> So, so no, it's his way of acknowledging. We have to do it now. Tattoos, he sees that in spirit. He says, we will always be connected and I will always be by your side. Thank you. I really hope that this helped you. Know that your whole family is here in spirit. And this is just validation that we truly never lose anybody.